What it do, word gang? It's your boy, Big T Light, Big Werewolf. What y'all doing, man? How y'all doing today? Start off right, but let's get straight to it, man, because you know I don't like to waste time. You know we on a ride home from work, but uh, I was, it was it's, it's been like a little debate going on on my Instagram. People saying that, uh, you know, since Quavo dropped that, that song, that little, that little verse about the um, <laughs> little bitty scat pack ain't nothing. <laughs> So he dropped that song about the Scat Pack not really being nothing. Now everybody all up in arms. You know, the Scat Pack owners are up in arms. Which I don't blame them because the Scat Pack is something, man. I ain't going to sit here in front because I own the Scat Pack. As you know, I own the Hellcat right now. But I own the Scat Pack. And I thought that sucker was a monster. And I still think it's a monster. I still to this day think it's a monster. Even though I got rid of, the, get rid of it to get a um, Hellcat. I still think the Scat Pack is a probably the, one of the greatest muscle cars of all time, especially the Charger because it's so utilitarian. You can do so many things with that Charger. I'm talking about as a fam, like you got your family car, you got you know you got your speed, your muscle, and you got you got the looks, you got your prestige. This you know it's just a, a great car. Business. Not to be off the subject, just Charger is a great car. Period. Charger is too, but it's not as utilitarian as a Charger. But yeah, the Scat Pack is a great car, man. I, I don't know if maybe Hellcat owners might think they are better than Scat Pack owners. I don't know. I don't. I, I'm a Hellcat owner, and I don't think I'm better than the Scat Pack owner. I think we 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 both in, in the brotherhood of Mopar. Even though I got Chevys too. I mean, I'm a Chevy and a Mopar guy. My sister, she got a Mustang, so I, I like Fords too. I ain't got nothing against no dealers, no no car company, but. I don't know if Scat Pack and Hellcat owners are like beefing or nothing. I mean, I would hope they're not beefing because, I mean, I consider them like brothers. I mean, the Scat Pack is the little brother to the Hellcat, and the Scat Pack has got everything you can want in a car. It's not like it's a a bad car. You got your, like you said, you got your muscle. So you do definitely a muscle car. You got you fast. You're not the fastest though. I, I, I don't know why so many Scat Pack owners think they the fastest. Just because you put a cool air intake on it and an uh, oil catch can and a muffler delete, it's not make you fast. <laughs> you fast, but it don't make you no faster. Especially if you ain't get, you got the cool air intake on it and you ain't get it tuned to tell the computer that, that you got a better intake. So I don't know why uh, Scat Pack owners act like they so fast. You know, they pop their hood and... Uh, it's like, hey, you ain't never seen nothing like this. Yeah, I did. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a 392. It's, it's, a, it's a 6.4. I've seen it before. But that's just <laughs> some of them. Most of them are just cool people, you know, like me. When I had mine, I was just a cool person. And uh, I never thought I was better than nobody, you know, and, and I, I never thought I was less than anybody. If I pulled up next to somebody in a Hellcat, I still thought I was fast. I said, if you, if you want to run it, we can run it. Even though I know you're going to get me, but it is what it is. I pull up next to a ZL1 or uh, I'm going to run you. I'm going to try to. Even though I know you're going to smoke me. I mean, when you in a scat pack, you do get some. You do you do get. You, you, you become pretty confident. <laughs> you start thinking you is the fastest on the, on, on the block. Which you probably is, to be truthful with you. If you really want to be truthful. Nine times out of ten, if you got a scat pack, you probably are the fastest car on the street. You are probably the fastest car around at that time. Nine times out of ten, you're not going to see no Hellcat. Contrary to people's belief, it ain't that many Hellcats out there like that. You don't see Hellcats like you would think you see them. You don't. I, I own a Hellcat, and when I'm riding around a Hellcat, I only see myself. I rarely pass a Hellcat, and that's wide body or slim body. Rarely do I see a Hellcat. I can count on my hands through the week how many times I see it. And that's me going, and I'm a truck driver, and I, I go through all the big cities around this area, the Midwestern area. I be in all the cities. So, and I don't see too many Hellcats. Hell, I don't see a, 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 a ungodly amount of scat packs. They're pretty rare too, because a scat pack ain't expensive, expensive, but it ain't cheap either. So, yeah, so nine times out of ten, I, I can see why a scat pack owner would think he was the fastest around, because he is the fastest around. When you pull up to a stoplight in a scat pack, you look to your left, or you look to your right. Left or your right or in front of you or behind you that those, none of the people are going to be faster than you 
So you got a right to be cocky. You got a right because you are the you you right right then and there you the king of the jungle. So yeah, scat pack owners are kind of cocky, but they got a reason to be. Ninety percent of the time, they're the fastest on they the fastest on the streets. Now, if you run up against that ten speed uh, Camaro uh, or that ten speed um, Mustang, it's gonna be a good race. I'm talking about the SS and the GT, it's gonna be a good race. Sometimes you're gonna win, sometimes you're gonna lose. But yeah, the Scat Pack is a great car, man. It's just, it's got, it's just, it's just, it's just the sweet spot. It's everything you need. It's, it's fucking. You can smoke them tires like you in a Hellcat. I mean, them, them, you can smoke them tires, man. Eat them tires up. Eat them tires up. And when you pull up, you get mad respect. Everybody giving you mad love. Especially if you're in that wide body, because that thing fire, charge or challenge. They give you mad love. Everybody love the cars. The whole world loves Scat Packs and Hellcats. They the, they the, they've been crowned the most popular, so you, you can't go wrong with a Scat Pack. In my, in my eyes, you can't go wrong. But I can understand why people are kind of annoyed with Scat Pack owners because they do think they, they a lot of them do think they the fastest on the block and it's usually a scat pack doing the takeovers it's usually a scat pack doing the uh the burnouts in the middle of the inter intersection and all that it's usually the scat pack it's usually the scat pack owner that's doing that because the scat pack is more obtainable than a hellcat so you're gonna see more clownish stuff in a scat pack than you would in a hellcat because it's just a little more attainable car than it is a hellcat or like a zl1 or uh, GT500. It's just a more obtainable car. And you know, as you know, uh, Mustangs, they can't slide like, no car can slide like a Hellcat. Let's just we put it like that. Any car out there that can slide like a Hellcat or a Scat Pack. No car can slide like those cars. So. They get a bad reputation, but at the end of the day, I still think you should get it. If you can afford to get a Scat Pack, yeah, go right ahead and get it. You know, but if you can save your money a little bit longer, save up an extra little 10, 15,000, you go ahead and get that Hellcat. That way you can have the best of both worlds, Scat Pack and Hellcat, because when you hit the red key, you got the Hellcat power. Hit that uh, black key, you got Scat Pack power. So if you could just save your money up a little bit longer, you can get the, you can get the, the best of both worlds. But if not, man, just get your old Scatty. Can't go wrong with a Scat Pack. I love Scat Packs. But uh, with that being said, man, I just wanted to touch bases with y'all, man, talk a little bit about the Scat Pack. Nothing, nothing, nothing crazy. I just noticed that that song came out man and it was funny to me that <laughs> he said that little he said that little bitty scat pack ain't nothing <laughs> everybody up in arms about that man he was just playing though that little bitty scat pack ain't no little bitty scat pack ain't nothing little bitty about a scat pack so don't get it twisted ain't nothing little bitty about a scat pack 485 horsepower naturally aspirated no supercharger no nothing just a straight motor that's crazy. The Corvette only got 495. That's only 10 more horsepower than a Scat Pack. So, I'm talking about the regular C8. Not the, I mean, talking about the ZL6. We're talking about the regular one. And, uh, so, ain't that little bit about that motor. That motor is actually pretty big. It's bigger than a Hellcat motor. And only, the, the, the Hellcat motor is only stronger because it's got the blower on top of it. And it can handle the boost better than a uh, 6.4. But other than that, you really running around with the one, one of the strongest motors out there straight from the factory you can't beat it be it maybe they could have did a little bit better on the exhaust they probably could have put some long tube headers straight from the factory but you, know, you still really can't complain they still they get they gave you 485 be happy with that and, uh, they got that wide body with that active uh hellcat suspension now on the wide bodies you can't lose right now you can't lose with a scatty you can't lose with a scatty and i know quavo made y'all mad don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You still a monster in my eyes. Because I own one. Shout out to all the Sky Pack owners, man. Y'all don't get mad at Quavo, man. He was just trying to... He was just making up a little rap. A little controversial rap. You know, he was trying to go viral, probably. So, uh... Ain't nothing wrong with owning this Sky Pack. Don't think it's something... Don't think you're too weaker. Because he said you, you got a little bitty Sky Pack. Nothing little bitty about your car. You get... You, you actually a big car. You actually one of the big boys. But with that being said, man, y'all be safe out there. Uh, just be safe.
be safe, man. I really that's all I can really say is just to be safe, man. Stay sucker free. And, uh, as you can see, I got my uh, work outfit on straight from work. About to head home, do a little bit of no yard work. It's raining out here. I don't know if you can see, but I know you, I know you can hear my windshield wipers. Man, my guy, you act like he's gonna run into me or something. But yeah, y'all be safe out there, man. And I'm gonna end my videos how I always end my videos. Uh, clear my throat. Let me clear my throat. <clears throat> it's your boy. Big shout out to the werewolf gang. Much love to the light crew. You already know how I feel about you. Let's get a quick little pull in the Magalini. In the Magalini. Ooh, I eat a scat pack up with this V6. I eat a scat pack up in this V6. I dare you try to race me in your scat pack and I got my V6 Magnum. I'll burn you up. <laughs> Y'all take it easy out there, man. Big shout out to the Scat Pack owners. T Light, love you, baby. <laughs> Need a pair of masks, what they call me. I promise that you're not.